two conductors, an outer shell that's a spherical conductor that's negatively charged, an inner shell that's a spherical conductor that's positively charged. So this red right here is a cutaway view of a small sphere inside the outer sphere. The outer sphere is hollow, is a hollow conductor. The inner sphere, it turns out, is a hollow conductor, but that doesn't really matter. The inner sphere has a radius Ra out to the out, outside part of it. The outer sphere has a radius R sub B. How do I find the capacitance of this? The same thing. Capacitance is Q over delta V. The charge on the inner sphere is plus Q. The charge on the outer sphere is minus Q. So that's the Q. What's the delta V, the difference in voltage between those two spheres? How do I find the difference in voltage? Well, first I find the electric field in between those two spheres, and then I integrate the electric field from one sphere to the other. So, so use Gauss, first of all. If I take a Gaussian surface, so this picture from the book already did this for you. Take a Gaussian surface that's a sphere in between the other two spheres. A sphere of radius r, a surface that's of radius r in between the other two spheres, in between ra and rb. That Gaussian surface encloses, q enclosed is only the plus q from the inner sphere. Nothing from the outer sphere. It encloses plus Q from the inner sphere. So on the right, I still have Q over E0 using Gauss's law. What about using Gauss's law E dot dA? Again, because this is a sphere, I know that the electric field is going to be radial. Because it's radial, and uniform, it's the same radial electric field pointing radially outward everywhere on this purple line or purple surface representing the Gaussian surface. The electric field is radially outward everywhere on that Gaussian surface. And it's uniform because this whole thing is spherically symmetric. So that electric field, this integration right here of the, of the electric flux, the electric field at radius r comes out of that integral because it's the same everywhere along that surface. And then, and it's perpendicular to the surface. And then the integration of dA over that surface is just the area of a surface, the area of a sphere. So 4 pi r squared. And so the electric field inside, in between those two plates, varies. I'm going to put the electric, put the 4 pi r squared on the other side. The electric field in between there looks just like the electric field of a point charge Q at the origin, it turns out. The electric field in between this. So in between Ra and Rb is that constant radial electric field. Drops off as 1 over R squared. How do I get delta V? I integrate E dot dL. What, at what path do I use? Well, I always want to use a path that is uh, parallel to the electric field. The electric field is radial, so I want to integrate dR. So this is E dot DL is just going to be, well, E has a constant Q, a constant 4 pi E0, and a 1 over R squared. And I'm integrating radially, so I'm integrating along DR. So this gives me, uh, and this is from RA, 
to Rb from the inner sphere to the outer sphere. That's where the electric field is. So the voltage difference between those two, what does that turn out to be? If I integrate this, I get 1 over R, uh, maybe a minus sign, but there's probably a minus sign there. I'm not going to worry about the minus sign. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, Q over 4 pi E0 is a constant sitting out there. This integration gives me a 1 over R. Again, there's probably two minus signs. I'm not going to worry too much about it. 1 over R sub B minus 1 over R sub A. I may be off by a minus sign. I want that to be positive. In any case, it depends on Q. And so when I put that in to this, I get what? The Q over delta V, the Q's cancel. On top, I have a 4 pi E0. And oh, what do I have? I have 1 over all of that. I'm not going to worry about what it is. 1 over all that. So that's the capacitance for this thing. Capacitance is, is it, it's a really standard, so I'm going to ask you a capacitance problem of some kind. It's a really standard thing to calculate, and the reason is, to start from the beginning, the reason is it asks you to use Gauss's law, it asks you to calculate an electric field, it asks you to calculate the voltage difference between two conductors, and those are important things that you already know how to do. And so all it, ha it has you do all of those and then assemble them into a single uh, thing.